Here, please warm welcome for Mr. Hassan Ahmad, everyone. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, I should introduce myself. Uh, my name is Hassan. A little bit about me. Uh, I am American. <laughs> I'm very American. I was born in a Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> a lot of people think I'm Middle Eastern because I suffer from a terrible condition called resting ISIS face. <laughs> it's a terrible disease. I shaved 20 minutes ago. It's very... <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> Uh, I am a first-generation American. My parents are immigrants. Which means my parents went through a whole lot of BS to get to this country just so they could hear me complain about my privileged life. That's what that means. <laughs> my dad grew up in one of the world's poorest third-world villages and now is an aerospace engineer at NASA. Whoa. Uh, thank you, he's kind of a dick, but that's cool. <laughs> My mom, as a Muslim woman from a third world country, is now a dentist with her own practice. And I... took a 30 minute shower this morning because I felt sad. And I felt sad about the drought, like I wasn't <laughs> helping anybody. All right. I like this crowd. We're going to talk about the election. Oh, wow, you guys are down. Usually. That's, that's, uh, all right. I'm going to try going down the middle of the road, which means I'm going to make fun of both sides. Which means, if you have an opinion about it, remember, None of it matters. <laughs> None of what we say matters, so just keep it down. <laughs> is this, is this, uh, people back there, is this like the craziest election you guys have ever seen? Yes. Yeah? Is that insane? See, I, everyone says that, like, America, this is the craziest American politics has ever been, right? But, like, is it really? You know? Like, this might not be the craziest thing that's happened in my lifetime. Remember a few years ago when our vice president just shot a dude in the face? <laughs> Here's how crazy American politics is, if you know your history, that's not the first time one of our vice presidents has shot a dude in the face. No, so I don't think, I don't know, I think America has always been crazy. I think just this year's flavor of crazy is orange with a strong scent of vanilla. You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> Trump scares me. A little bit. A little bit. I'm scared because I worry that I'm going to vote for him. That's why I'm afraid. Oh, oh, I am, I am, I'm, afraid, I am, I'm afraid that one day he's going to say something so insane that I'm going to be like, yeah, I want to see that. For sure. For sure. Like a week before the election, my friend's going to be like, hey, you hear about Trump? No, what happened? He challenged Obama to a fist fight on the moon. Man, I got to register. Are you kidding me? That's entertaining and helps our space program? Let's go. Let's get him up there. If you support Trump, it's cool. I'm not, everyone's mad at you, I'm not. I get why Trump is running. White people, y'all gotta flex. I feel you. <laughs> if you support Trump at this point, like, I'm, I like your determination. Good for you. Because at any point, I thought people would jump off. There are so many reasons to jump off that bad idea. I thought for sure in June, when ISIS endorsed him, people would be like, man. <laughs> but it's like Trump looked at ISIS and was like, well, I like how they treat their women. <laughs> Actually, if you translate the Arabic on ISIS's flag, it says grab him by the pussy. It's very... <laughs> Trump has changed my family as Muslim immigrants. Trump has changed the way our family talks to each other. I have a little sister. She's just started high school. I was having dinner with my family recently, and my sister said, I am not a Muslim, I am an American. And it caused a fight between me and my parents, because my parents wanted her to realize that she could be both, and 
I want her to keep saying that because it could save her life one day. Like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I see, I see the writings on the wall, you know? Like, I met a friend recently who has an attic for a reason, you know? It's very... <laughs> one guy. <laughs> I don't like Hillary very much. <laughs> Hillary seems very bought and paid for. That's what it seems to me. Like, Hillary kind of reminds me of those, like, mechanical horses outside a grocery store. <laughs> like, you put in enough quarters and she'll roll with you, you know? <laughs> Hillary edited a debate recently by saying, may the force be with you. And the first thing I thought when I heard that was, man, Disney's marketing team really wants you to see those movies. Like, that's... <laughs> There was a guy in a boardroom one day, like, you have no idea who we just booked. This is gonna be good. <laughs> Here's why I'm mad at Hillary. She fixed the race against Bernie. That's it. I'm not, I'm not mad that she did it, too. I'm mad that she got caught. That's why I'm mad. Because if you're president, your entire job is to do shady things without me finding out. That's, <laughs> that's the point, you know? So if you're gonna fix an election, fix an election, whatever. Just don't write emails about it like a child, you know? <laughs> write a letter, send it via carrier pigeon, shred the letter, shred the pigeon. Get rid of the evidence. <laughs> I mean, we shouldn't be surprised. It's, it is a very Clinton thing to get caught cheating. It's very... <laughs> People always use the same excuse with me. Oh, you don't want to vote for Hillary because you're sexist. No, I don't want to vote for Hillary because I have reasons. Yeah? I do. She fixed the race against Bernie. She got corporate endorsement. Yeah. I'm sexist because I don't like women very much. But that's <laughs> that's separate from Hillary. That's separate. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't like black people if they didn't want to hang out with me either. So <laughs> separate. Also, I've dated women I don't like. You don't think I put a check mark next to one? You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> the reality is, I don't want to vote. I don't. I am voting because I'm being vote shamed by all of y'all into voting. That's it. I don't. Why? Why vote, man? None of this is for us. This system is not for the people. You know, if they really wanted to know the people's voice, they would let us vote for president via hashtag on Twitter. That's what it would be. And sure, our president might just be a video of a cat. But that's way better than like Ted Cruz. You know what I mean? Like that's a step up. Mittens 2016. That's what I'm all about. Her running mate would be David, that kid that went to the dentist that one time. That's it. The saddest part about this whole election is I only have two more weeks to tell those jokes. I think that's the saddest part for me. Thank you.